Australia's move to establish an enhanced trilateral security partnership with the United States and Britain has raised concerns over nuclear proliferation from the international community as under the deal Australia has scrapped a contract to buy submarines from France in favour of US-made nuclear vessels. Under a new security partnership unveiled last Wednesday between Australia, Britain and the United States, known as AUKUS, Australia will build nuclear-powered submarines with US and British technology. Australia then announced it would scrap the deal with France signed in 2016 to purchase 12 conventional diesel-electric submarines. The deal has provoked widespread concern across the world, with many experts and observers lamenting the deal's long shadow over regional security in the Asia-Pacific and on global non-proliferation endeavour. AUKUS, the new partnership, is creating security anxieties, in the Asia and Pacific region and, putting many countries like the Philippines in guessing game scenarios said Rommel Banlawi, chairman of the Philippine Institute for Peace, Violence and Terrorism Research, in a recent interview with Xinhua. It's a serious concern for, for Southeast Asian countries because the uh, plan of these three major powers will run counter to the two major principles of Southeast Asian countries enshrined in various ASEAN declarations. One is the, is the, the concept of the zone of peace, uh, freedom and neutrality in Southeast Asia. And second, the concept of nuclear weapons free zone in Southeast Asia. So uh, these two major concepts will be affected by these recent actions by these three major powers. Ban Lawi warned that Washington and London's decision to help Australia build nuclear submarine capabilities could intensify major power competition in the region. Aside from the 10-member Association of Southeast Asian Nations, Banlawi said Australia also faces a problem with its immediate neighbour New Zealand, because of that country's very strong position on nuclear weapons-free principle. It's still problematic because you're, you will be carrying nuclear materials and uh, countries in Southeast Asia adhering to the, to the principle of a nuclear-free zone will be uh, greatly uh, affected by that decision. So it's really problematic for Australia to uh, enter into such kind of uh, submarine development and at the same time uh, adhering to the non-proliferation uh, treaty. Speaking at a webinar organized by the Centre on Global Energy Policy at Columbia University on Monday, former Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd said the deal has massive flaws. Rudd said the Australian government's unilateral repeal of the submarine contract with France and switch to nuclear-powered submarines took place like a bolt from the blue. This is not the way to treat the French partner, friend and ally, said Rudd, who is now president and CEO of non-profit organisation Asia Society.